Hi guys, today we're playing a cold case files case one. Okay. My friend has been missing for over four days now. The adults and police won't listen to me, but I think I know what happened to them. It's called the vanishing point. The legend is that on certain nights at a certain spot, at a certain time, in a certain place, there exists a spot said to make people vanish right into thin air. I believe this is what happened to my friend. My friend and I are into the occult and anything supernatural. Upon hearing of the vanishing point, we had just had to investigate ourselves. We set out to check it out, check into it the next day, but something went wrong. My friend never investigates alone when it comes to the two of us on the way from one. I get the feeling they went alone the night before to the supposed spot. At least that's what I believe their spirit is trying to tell me. The banshee thing? This sounds familiar. But that's another story for another time. After doing a bit of investigating of my own, I've been brought to the home of someone who might have information on the banshee point. The only problem is that no one has lived in this home for over 30 years. Like, this reminds me of an episode from Snarled, where they talked about something similar to this. Though I don't sure, I think it was called Vanishing Something. This is a place, it looks like it's been abandoned for quite a long time. Can I really find something here to help me? No, I can't think that will. Well, that way, I will find some sort of direction. I need to, I can't let my friend down. I need to hurry though, if my parents knew I was out this late, I can only hear he be here until 5 a.m. and I hope it won't even take that long. Alrighty. We click on this. Open the dam. Will we open it? It's locked. Good thing I found the gate key already. Okay. Gate key. Click on this. And let's click on this. The key fits into the rusty padlock, requiring a little force to fully insert it. After jiggling the key a bit, it turns and the lock unlocks. Alrighty. Let's open. With enough force, I push the rusty gate. It screeches loudly as it opens, breaking the silence surrounding me. Alright. And let's move. Uh, examine. There's a cabinet. It looks like it can be opened. Can't open it though. That's so creepy. You just went here by yourself. Very brave. Uh, examine. It's a potted plant that's been dead for well over 20 years. Poor thing. Uh, these holes. The shoji is slightly ajar. It's a slim opening, but I think I can get through. It's not weak yet. Yeah, it examine everything. <clears throat> it's an unlocked door. I need to open it to get it through it first. Alrighty. Okay, so let's open this. It's opened. And let's move. And yeah, let's go through here first. That place, someone dead. Looks terrible. Great, this TV, this house is cursed. There's a pile of garbage and flies surrounding them. Looking closely, there's an ornate red box poking out of one of the bags. Should I take it? Oh. The flies immediately swarm me as I reach for the box. I feel their searing bites all over my skin. I manage to finally swat them away from me. Oh, okay. You did not like that, I see. It's an old television set. This thing looks broken beyond repair. There's no way it still works. Yeah, sure. 
The cabinet, which I assume was holding the television up. And... There's a door right here. Can't go through it, though. It's a pile of garbage bags. It looks like some sort of red liquid is pulling out the bottom of the bags. Uh... It's kind of weird. Um... I can't get through here. Oh well, let's just... Let's just go here. Okay. That looks scary. Who will not demolish old houses like this, or what, it's too much work? The tub has grime all around its edges. There's a few inches of stagnant water inside the tub with a layer of scum on top. Vile. Oh yeah, that is gross. Uh, it's a broken mirror. Hey, creepy. Show it up. There's a nozzle connected to the tub. It's leaking out some sort of milky substance. to examine. Anything else? Alright. How about the stool that's right here? Nothing special about this. Okay. Uh, let's leave. Oh, it's another place. It's a wooden stool. It's little and looks a little bit brittle. There's something lodged down inside the toilet. Reach into the toilet. Oh, the toilet ghost doesn't come out for me. Reach my hand down into the stagnant water. As my fingers go in, I instantly regret it. I finally reach the slimy blockage and take it out. It's a wadded up ball of paper. There's something inside. A lump of hair. Disgusting. I would not be brave enough to do that. I just, I'm sorry. No. It's an old cistern. Cistern. To uh, help work the toilet? Mm, I think that's about it. So let's move. Sandals? No? Um, let's move towards here. And there's a prey option. I pray for the garbage. <laughs> okay. There's no one to talk to, I hope. So we can pray for something. We have 100 yen. It's 2.40 in the morning. It's October 16th, 1992. I can't save right now. Oh, we can save. I don't have time to go anywhere else right now. I need to be back home at 5.5 5 in the morning. I can't believe your parents let you back home by 5 in the morning. Hmm. Maybe I'll pray on the garbage? No? That didn't work. Pray for the garbage. So they have an option of praying for the garbage. Can I take... Can I take that red box? No? More flies erupt in the garbage. They begin burrowing into my skin. I open my mouth to scream and choke as a swarm goes down my throat. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I just gave myself killed. Whoops. It's a match. Oh, so I got a match. Alrighty. So I have to start a little bit because I ended up killing myself. How nice. And let's move towards here. Since I could pray for the garbage, so there's different things I could pray for. Hmm. 
Maybe I can pray for the toilet? I mean, makes sense, right? There's a toilet ghost thing, right? There's hair, which is weird. Uh, let's pray. Let's pray for the toilet. I pray for the toilet. Put praying for different things would help us in the long run. Uh, let's pray for the tub. Pray for the tub. We pray for the glass. Nope. Alright, let's just move. And let's go back in there. Okay, and now let's pray for the garbage. It's weird that we pray for the garbage though. Oh yeah, the TV. Can we pray for the TV? Anything else? I pray there's no one back there. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of garbage. Um, maybe we can try to take the TV. We have a working television at home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, there's a move option. Uh, I can move th this. Television says surprisingly heavy, but budge. Let's try moving. I don't see any reason to move those disgusting bags. Okay, let's try moving the table. I'm gonna not touch any of that garbage if I can. Alright, well that doesn't work. I open that. Soji looks stuck in place by the mountain of garbage in front of it. Hmm. Oh! There's something up here. I just noticed that. It's an attic hatch door. I can't reach it without some sort of tool to help me. Uh, okay. This house looks pretty big. Let's see if there's any other rooms. Let's examine... Examine this. This. It's a shoji. I need to slide it open to get through. Okay. I slid open. And now we shall move. Okay, this looks to be... I don't know what this is, to be honest. Can I save? Yeah, I can't save. Alright, let's examine. Newspapers are stacked on the table, covered in a layer of dust. They all deal with the disappearance of a family back in the 70s. Why do we come here or spy ourselves? I don't understand the bravery. There's no dusty cabinet. It looks like it can be opened. It opened, and what is inside? The cabinet is empty except for this giant spider inside. Oh, okay, let's just leave that there. With the desk, there's a note on top. Don't come looking for me, I don't want to be found. Oh, should we take it? There's nothing worth taking. Really? Okay, what's this on the ground? Looks like a chest of some sort. Uh, can I open it? It opened. The chest is open. The only thing inside is a prayer bead bracelet. Oh, so now we have a prayer bead bracelet. Let's take that. I took the prayer bead bracelet from inside the chest. The window is dusty and hard to see out of. The wind is causing the branches of a nearby tree to scrape along the surface. Alright, so let's move. Oh wait, there's another... Oh my god, no. 
No. It's a Zabuton? It looks like it's got a lot of use over the years. That won't work. It's a shrine. There are pictures of a young girl, a middle-aged woman, and an elderly woman. I kind of don't want to wanna see who's behind there. The shoji is closed. Is there someone behind it? Um... We have prayer beads, so I'm gonna go to the toilet and the garbage. Those are Zo Ona, traditional masks that to bring good luck. I'm gonna go back and come back for you later, alright? Alright, let's go to the toilet first. Move it. Oh wait, I just went back. <laughs> Alright, let's move. Let's go here. Ah, dang it. And let's use the prayer beads. On the toilet? Nope. Nope. That didn't work. I thought it would. Okay, whatever. Let's just go back to the other room and see what happens to us. Well, I most likely die. Talk. Hello, is anyone there? Stop moving. Uh oh. Should we really go through there? Shoji is opened. Oh, let's just go, I guess. Can we pray? <laughs> let's pray. No? Here? I prayed at the shrine. Did I put the prayer beads at the shrine? No? Okay, whatever, it's just moved. I feel an overwhelming presence the moment I walk into the room. The air is stale and hard to breathe. I shouldn't stay here for too long. Oh, quiet. The beautiful shoji off its track. It features an amazing looking crane. It's a shame we will be left here to rot along with this house. Why do people demolish old houses? Wait, it's too much work? I mean, these houses are creepy though. It's a table filled with broken plates in China. It looks like someone really got their aggression out in this room. It's a large cabinet filled with fine china. The glass is broken and pieces surround it. I wonder if I can take anything. It's a small mirror. My reflection in it, it seems off. What's this place behind here? It's dark, but it looks like the next room is the kitchen. Oh, that's the kitchen. Go right here. That's right. Oh, the kitchen. This is a really big house. The kitchen sink fills the brim with old, crusty dishes. The cabinet below looks like it can be opened. Alright. Let's open here. Across the cabinet's creak open with a little force. What's in it? Inside the cabinet's below, the dirty sink is a can of bug spray. Oh, that's for the spider. Let's take that. Take the can of bug spray. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, I thought that was a face right there. An old fridge looks like it's from the 60s. There's something leaking out of the bottom of the door. A noxious smell rubs out of the fridge the moment it's cracked. I close it quickly before anything else gushes out. Yuck. Right here. It's 
the Noah calendar from 1972, on the month of October, the 20th is circled, and the next word reads family outing. The door is locked with a padlock. I wonder what lies behind it. Mm. Let's just move. I wonder what that woman went to. I'm assuming she's a woman. I only got an hour left before I need to head home. My parents can't know I've snuck out. Oh, it's an hour left. Oh, I got this like time thing. Oops. Bug spray. Use it on this. Wait. Nope. Oh, I thought I could use it on here. Okay, take it. There's nothing to take inside the cabinet. Oh no, the bug sprays could be used in the flies. We go get the flies. Um, let's move. Okay. Bug spray here. Oh my god, let's do that. Bug spray. Flies all fall straight to the ground instantly as a cloud of mist from the spray can envelops them. I can safely reach the box now. and steal whatever is in that box. I took the box from the garbage. It's covered in Afuda. Talismans used to ward off and protect against evil and malicious spirits. Break the food open to open the box. Um Yeah, what the heck? I opened the box, ripping the Afuda in the process. There's a key inside. I took the key. Oh. Storage key. Alright, let's move it. Let's go move here. Every time I go into a different room, time goes by five minutes. I just noticed that. Uh, let's go here. Let's move it. Look how quiet this room gets. The key fits into the padlock easily. With a twist of the key, the padlock unlocks. The door creaks open, the smell of mold fills the air. Ceramic Tanuki. It's kind of cute, actually. I guess. It's just a mannequin. Oh, you better hope it is. That's so cool. It's an ant attic bowl used to hook onto an attic hatch door and pull it down. We have one at home. Oh, that's great. That's what we need to go into the attic. Lovely. There's a mask hanging on the wall. It looks cursed. I should probably avoid going near it. Oh, I have to go all the way. Make it to the attic? Okay. That's it. Examine anything else in the window. Let's take this. I'm going to need this attic pool. And let's move it. Will I even make it in time? <laughs> uh, let's go back. Oh! Oh god, that kind of scared me. A malicious spirit appears, frozen in place and can't move. It's muttering something quietly. Leave. Leave. Now. Okay, I'm leaving. I swear, I know. Alright, let's, uh, move. Frozen with fear, I can't move away from this presence. The spirit inches closer. Uh, prayer beads? 
I hold on out the prayer beads in front of me and begin to vibrate. Bracelet snaps as the prayer beads shoot in all directions of the room. Oh, that worked. Uh, okay. Let's move. I don't think I'll make it. <laughs> it's pretty much 5 a.m. already. Ah, I've lost track of time. I need to go home. This investigation has failed. Alrighty, I failed. <laughs> There's a frame photo of a family. The man in the middle has his face scratched out. Was this the family who lived here? I mean, you can take this. I took the family photo. How would you just name it everything very well? And I take the point. Okay, let's just move. Whoever is there, I pray for you. You stop moving. Oh. Alrighty. So I, I decided to pray this time. Maybe that might change outcomes. But yeah, and I prayed on this mask and it like twirled around. Okay, so I'll get an hour left regardless. Okay, so... Let's take this. Uh, let's see if we can take anything else. Oh, I need this weird looking mannequin. <laughs> so weird. Take... Take this. Okay. Take this little fellow with me. Is that really okay? Can we take the mask? I'd rather not touch it. I feel cursed just looking at it. Alright, so we can't take the mask. Uh, I think that's about it. Hmm. I wonder what the 100 yen is for. I think that's it. Alright, let's leave. Move. Let's go. Oh, there's nothing else in here, right? Can we place a statue at the altar? I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll try to do that. But then that ghost will appear, so we gotta prepare for that. Right, she appears. Use the prayer beads. <laughs> what happened if I didn't get the prayer beads? <laughs> Nothing good, I presume. Alright, let's move. Uh, can I place that Sunuki here? No. Uh, maybe the family photo here? No? No? Alright, let's just move. Ugh, we don't even have enough time. Move it. Okay, the attic. Pull. The attic pool, I'm able to reach the hatch and open it. The ladder slides down, a layer of dust shakes loose and goes into the air. Oh my gosh, that's not good. What's this? A note? It's a note. Read the note? Yes. They vanished right before my eyes. At first, I thought it was a trick of the light. But when I ran over my fears, over my fears were confirmed. How do you explain to someone that you watched your family vanish right in front of your very own eyes? They thought I was crazy. Even worse, they thought I was the reason they vanished. Friends and families disowned me. I was caught from everyone. Now I have no one. Every time I close my eyes, I can see them, smiling, waving. I've exhausted myself figuring out what happened. Why did they vanish? There's been a lot of disappearances in that area. A few children, mostly adults. Multiple families left with no answers, but I know. It's that spot. The convenience store owner near there was the only lead I can get. She needs to be hiding something. The rest is a bit hard to read. She told me the legend of the... 
He never straw doll you can reverse. Shouldn't touch. The rest is indecipherable. This poor man. How many has the vanishing point taken? Who is the woman she spoke of? I think this knows enough of a lead to go on. This venture wasn't as futile as I thought. Now to get out of here. Let's just examine the rest. I will we presume we already know what happened here. There's a small box underneath the noose. Noose hangs from the raptors. Seems like that's it. Can we place the note anywhere? Oh, they're back again! <laughs> Can't leave. Is this the man? Wait. To be continued. Oh, that's it. Oh. Alright, and that was the end of the cold case files. Uh, I say it's a pretty good demo overall. I actually can't wait to see the full game to see how this plays out. But I feel like I've heard this story before. Like this type of creepy story. I feel like I've heard it on a channel called Snarled. I feel like I've heard it on there. I don't know what the video was called, but I feel like something it was something to do with someone just vanishing out of thin air. I don't know if this was based on it or if it was something else, but yeah. Um there has to be... Well, we have like other items with us. I don't know how to use it. Though. Mm, let me try this again. Let's see if I can talk to the ghost. Okie dokie. Um, so not this part again. I have these three left. Maybe if I place them here, that might do something? I placed the family photo on the box underneath the noose. Oh. That got rid of the noose. There's a small box underneath the noose. Uh, maybe the yen? No. Uh, maybe the Tsunuki statue? No. I'm not sure what to do with these two. I look at matches at the shrine. Uh, maybe we could pray? I'm sorry you had to come to this. I pray that you move on. Okie dokie. Did that work? It seems my friend wasn't the only victim of the vanishing point. I can't imagine what, would have, what, what it would do to a person to have their family vanish and leave you with nothing but the blame. I'm going to do my best to avenge this man's family. I won't let that spot take another victim. I will get my friend back. I hope they can hold on for just a little bit longer. To be continued? Was that a good ending? Mm, that seemed to be good. Yeah, that seemed to be good to me. Alright, and that's the end of the Occult Case Files. Um, I'm interested to see what the full game would be like and to see the mystery of the vanishing points unravel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!